I am running late. It is 6.30, my wife gets off I'm like right now. She'll be home at seven. I just had to go out and grab a GoPro because it's in the truck. So check this out. Right here, king mackerel, caught it Saturday, has not been frozen. I had it in the refrigerator. You can see that I keep it in a tub and I put a little bit of water in there. This king mackerel is in the Ziploc bag with no water added. Um, if I'm gonna smoke it, typically I'll put a, a paper towel around it and keep it wrapped around it. That keeps the meat dry. Um, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go down, watch some Billfish TV, because I gotta have this jump popping while I'm cooking. And it's going. Hurry up, let's go. Check out that channel. Garrett Penley, I think, is the one that, the guy who does it. Garrett Penley, that dude, that's a fishing fool, man. I'm gonna clear the oven out. Keep all of our cast iron stuff in here. Don't judge me. See, it's all nice and greased. That's how I was raised. We country folks around here. So what I'm gonna do is take all this stuff out of the oven, and then I'm gonna put it on bake. 425. Start. Get it ready. Start prepping. My wife loves sweet potatoes. I'm gonna dice up a sweet potato. And y'all bear with me because I'm trying to hold this camera and do all this stuff at the same time. Make sure you wash the produce. Always wash it. Just like that. Bada bing. Bada boom. Got my paper towel right here. Right off. I'm gonna try to set this camera up. Can't see what I'm doing. My bad. Alright, hopefully you can see that. Now, I'm gonna dice this up. Grab my knife. I'm gonna cut the end of it off. Just like that. Leave the skin on. This is what the olive oil is for. And I'll show you that in just a second. Split this in half. So I'm going to split this in half again. Split this in half again. Just like so. Then I'm going to cut these in strips. Just like this. Little tiny squares. I probably should put a little bit of dishes that you're going to need for this, but I don't know. Exactly what I need. Because I am trying to hurry up. Turn my music down so y'all can hear me. Anyway, I'm going to dice these up. So, on the small little squares. Now, I'll put these in the bowl. Bada -bada -bada -bada. That was one sweet potato. The way I judge sweet potato with my salt and pepper is 10 shakes for one sweet potato. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's plenty. The pepper. Hey, why am I doing this? I got a pepper corn thing. I get it until it pops pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, that's done. Drill a little, a little bit of olive oil over it, just like that. Use a spatula. Mix this up, just like that. Make sure every piece is coated good with the olive oil and the salt, and the pepper. 
just like so. Stone line, baby. I'm gonna spray these on there, just like so. These are gonna go in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna flip them over. Well, I'm not gonna flip them over each individual piece. I will uh, kind of shake them up and just, that way you can brown both sides. But anyway, that is what it looks like before. Wait for the oven to heat up, so I'm gonna set this to the side. Now, take my King Mackerel, I'm gonna take it over here to the sink, drain all this water out, and I'm gonna lay it on a cutting board. And you'll see what I'm gonna do with it. All right, so I drained it, put it in here. Then I'm gonna take a paper towel, and lay it on here, just like that. This is King Mackerel, boneless. Fillets. This thing was swimming around the ocean Saturday. Now it's going to swim on my dinner plate. Pack it dry just like so. This is perfect. King mackerel, people say, ah, that's good for smoked fish. Did they call it gray meat? Because as you can see, it looks gray. But look, don't let it fool you. It's still delicious. And by delicious, I mean delicious. That's all how you cook it. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tap that thing off with some Old Bay seasoning. Just a little bit. Just like so. Just like that right there. Ten four. Everybody got me? Then I'm going to pop it with some chili lime. You can only get this at Trader Joe's. Hollywood got some. Well, we cooked something. I can't. I think it was Spanish mackerel or something we cooked. We, we made tacos or something. I can't remember. He was like, man, i got to try this new chili season. I got. So we tried it. Sold. I mean, freaking sold. Put it on there. I'm gonna clean out this pan because this is what I'm gonna use to cook that fish. Bam! It's the pan I'm gonna use to clean the fish on. So I'm gonna take this fish. I'm gonna lay it right in back into this pan, just like this. I'm gonna make it work out space-wise. Just like so. Can you see that? Pie. Now, I forgot the butter. Now, I prefer, there's a stuff called garlic herb butter or something like that. Anyway, it's got like parsley and oregano and stuff in the butter. That's my favorite to use. But I don't have any. So, need a regular butter. And that is scorching hot water too, by the way, in case you didn't know. But anyway, I'm gonna cut the stick in half, just like that. And I'm going to cut very thin slices. Just like that. Just like that. While I'm doing it, I'm going to go ahead and lay it on there. I'm going to lay these. I'm going to cover the fish. Like, I know you health freaks are probably like, God, he's gonna kill himself for the butter. All it's gonna do is glaze the fish and melt off and get into the bottom of the tray. That is gonna be like a sauce that you can drizzle it over. And usually when I do this particular method of cooking the king mackerel, I'll, uh, most times I'll put it over like a bed of rice peel off or something and it is pizzopping. 
rest of this one with the good luck on the bottom. Just like so. So there, now we have that. Now I'm gonna take this Quattro Formaggio, a special blend of Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and mild provolone cheeses. And I'm gonna sprinkle it right over the fish. Very lightly. Very lightly. Just like so. See how that looks? Gorgeous. Now I'm gonna reach up here and usually I will use fresh scallions. Anybody know what scallions are? Scallions are the little green onions, but they're fresh. Some people call them chives. They're not chives. That's what I'm using now. Chives. I'm gonna put chives right over top of this. I know you're thinking, this guy's crazy, man. Dude, trust me when I say you, this is gonna be delicious. Then I use garlic pepper. Why do you use garlic pepper? Because when you use regular, just like garlic powder or garlic salt, it takes, first of all, we don't use a lot of salt or anything. That salt that I just put on those sweet potatoes right over there is the most salt I've used in probably a month. And I'm gonna take this, just barely, I mean barely, sprinkle it right over the top, just like that. Pow. Let you see me from over there. I'm gonna grab some aluminum foil. Y'all want that platinum, I'm on that, I'm on that aluminum. I'm on that aluminum, dog. I'm gonna take this, wrap this up. I'm gonna show you, it's not us, I don't know if it's a secret, but it's my method. Okay. Now you see how there's like high points in the foil? I go to the lowest point that I can find and I'll poke a hole just like that. And then I'll go over here to the corner and I'll poke a hole just like that and I'll poke a hole. And all these little low points, I poke holes. The reason I do that, when the fish is done, the way you know it's done, you can just look at it and if steam is coming out of those, those holes that are in the lowest point of the foil, it's good, you're golden. Now, most people would probably say, why don't you put onion on it or something like that? I don't like onions. Onion's disgusting. Onion smells like armpits, bro. Not for me. Not for me. Now I'm gonna wash this bowl. So I'm just mix those potatoes up with the oil and the salt and pepper. And I'm gonna make a little salad. And I'm back. For lunch, go. I'm gonna be like, that's why I get sugar. Milk prep. If you milk prep, that wouldn't happen. I wouldn't have used it because it would have been in a fresh, nice little pretty bag. Cherry tomatoes. God. Mm. Just on one side. Remember, I like to make stuff pretty. Wow. I don't know why that thing would break on top. Beeping. Sweet potatoes going in. Top rack. That's where all the heat's at. Set my timer for about 10 minutes. Timer. 10 minutes. Start. Timer's on 10 minutes. Eggs. I was going to boil eggs for the salad. I changed my mind. Not doing that. Because it is 10 minutes to 7. My wife will be home in about. 15 minutes. That's it for now. When this timer goes off for 10 minutes for the potatoes, I will pull them out. As soon as I pull them out, I got two racks in there. Potatoes are on the top rack. When I pull the potatoes out, I'll stick the fish in on the bottom rack. I'll shake the potatoes around, stick them back in there, cook them for another 10, 15 minutes. By the time the potatoes are done, the fish should be done. When the fish is done, when the potatoes are done, we can take a salad. Put it on a plate, lay the filet of fish on a bed of salad, 
put some sweet potatoes on the side. Bada bing, bada boom. Ready to go. Capiche? Capiche. All right, so y'all hold tight. I'm gonna go do a chore because I'm a multitasker and I'm a good husband. I'm gonna go do a chore, feed the dogs, give the dog his medicine, get all that squared away, and by then it'll be time to switch this stuff out. So I'll be back. Just like that. Potatoes are done. Timer is off. Potatoes are coming out. Fish is going in. Just like that. I'm gonna take this. Shake it run like that. You got to shake that thing. Shake that thing. Shake that thing. Come on, then I cannot kick. Just like that. Bada bang, bada boom. Hang in there for me. You're probably looking at the ceiling. So. Put the potatoes back in. Hit the timer. Boom. Ten. I'm gonna put it for 12 minutes. Start 12 minutes. And what? While all that's going on, I clean up. I'm a big fan of clean as you go. Uh, practice. I make my kids practice it. They don't practice it as often as they should. But what are you gonna do? My kids. So I'll be back in a minute as soon as this stuff's done. And I'll show you what I mean about the steam coming out of the holes in the lower part of the foil that I wrap the fish in. That's it. Stand by. Perfect timing. Really? <laughs> That's my beautiful wife. <laughs> Who puts up with me? Hey, guess where I'm going Saturday? Where are you going? Fishing. Fishing. <laughs> I'm not eating it. No, I'll try it. Anything's worth trying. Look at these beautiful things right here. Ancient grain has a nutty flavor, predictably chewy texture, and high in fiber. Yeah, whatever that means. Yeah. Thanks. All right. There's no steam coming out of those holes yet, so I don't think it's done. I'm gonna leave it in there for about five more minutes. There's a place. I hit the wrong button. That was my bad. Just like that. Get my trusty mitt. My wife thinks I'm stupid. Because I'm always running the camera. See, when I'm dead one day, she'll appreciate it. She'll be like, that's how he made that. Cause I cook a lot more than she does. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Salad. My volume's doing bad. <laughs> yeah. Are you All the time, every day. <laughs> Got her. Try to fix this. Oh, I lost a miter. We love tomatoes around here at our house. Even, even the kids. I don't like cooked tomatoes, like cooked, chunky, soggy, boiled tomatoes are nasty to me. I can't do it, can't get down with it. 
All right, so now I'm gonna move this out of the way. This is right there. Yes, I see steam. Look at that. Jump off right here. Yeah, I got four contestants to go. I'm gonna go to the biggest piece. Put it right here. I'm gonna flake it out. Oh, dude. It's perfect. Let me get that back. Can you see me? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? I'm gonna split this one in half. I'll leave the skin on. Because to me, it helps hold. Fish together. I'm gonna take a great big old piece for me. Whew, it's hot now. Cover that up. Save that. Do the same Oh, that's gonna be mine. Actually, this will be mine. I don't know which one will be mine. I'll finish for. Dressing for the salad. This is what we like. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Raspberry and cigarette. This perfect with fish. See it? How would do that? Use my wedding ring for my finger. I like a beverage. Wow. Wow. Bear with me, bear with me. I need two forks. My wife, she makes fun of me. She's like, why do you like this? Hey, man. Presentation is half of the meal. Look at that gorgeousness. That's beautiful. That's beautiful like you. <laughs> That's it. It's time to eat. Red dog, gotta get out of here. Say hey, red dog. Hey, red dog. Hey, red dog. All right, I gotta wash my hands now. I'm out.